Hi, I'm Quantic Dev, a senior software engineer with a decade of experience, as well as the developer of several popular open source projects, apps, and games. Today, I'm going to talk to you about the common expectations from an engineer. These do not only apply to software developers, they are common to all engineering disciplines. And not only that, these expectations are relevant at all ranks. Junior software engineer, senior electronics engineer, vice president of engineering. All the same, you are expected to know these and apply them. Now let's start with absolute fundamental, communication. Everyone in the field will universally agree on communication being the essence of engineering. Every developer and every engineer will say exactly the same thing as if they made a secret pact. Engineering is a team game and communication is the most basic requirement. This is a broad topic, so let's divide and conquer oral and written communication. Let's start with oral communication. Now start by speaking slowly, especially if you are using take terms heavily. If you need to go and talk to someone about a technical matter, go prepared. Take notes on what to talk, make a list of topics beforehand. If you need to show them something, prepare it beforehand. Do not waste people's time, they will like you better. Before asking a question to someone, rehearse it to yourself. It is most likely that you will already find an answer by yourself. Now, the written communication. When it comes to writing, only writing more makes it perfect. Write good emails and be clear and concise in team chat apps. Write good documentation files, read me's, design docs, whenever you can, whatever you can. Documenting your work will help you a lot in your seller negotiations. On top of that, it will help you pass on the information quite easily. In addition, practice writing brief memos for meetings. If you choose to present your ideas in slides, hand out written memo versions of it to your audience. As you will get more senior, you will start to prefer the written form over the presentation more. Well, apparently, many years ago, Jeff Bezos banned the use of PowerPoint in Amazon. Instead, he brought the two to six pager memo rule, which basically means if you are going to make a presentation or create a discussion, use paper only. No graphs, no formulas, no images, simple word, simple prose. Discussions based on memos force you to think rather than listening to a PowerPoint presentation like a sheep. Well, many attribute Amazon's success to this memo-only discussions where each and every participant have to use their brain. There was a recent delightful discussion on Hacker News about that subject. I'm going to put the link in the description. Go ahead and check it. And finally, be responsive. Be responsive in team chat apps and in mails. At the end of the day, they are your primary means of communication with your colleagues in your work environment. The more responsive you are, the more connected you become. And people like working with you better. Worst thing that can happen in a work environment is to wait hours or days for someone to reply to your chat or mail. However, while doing all of this, you need to handle distractions. When you need to concentrate, use the snooze or no distraction mode of your communication tools. <laughs> hmm? Mail, mother yeah, I need to mute this phone. I forgot what I was thinking. Two, collaboration. This is where preparation and good communication will help you a lot. To collaborate efficiently, you need to hold meetings. Morning stand-ups or briefs, lunch discussions, round the table discussions, and decision making. Also, don't be that guy who always asks. Do favors to people so you can expect them. And be convincing. You work more than with just your fellow engineers. You work with designers, you work with managers, you work with non-technical people. To be able to convince them about your work, you need to communicate well. Also, you need to listen. I'm sure you heard the saying, customer is the king. That is a quote from Dr. Samuelson, the Nobel Prize winner in economics. Listening to your customer is invaluable. It doesn't matter if it is through a filter like a product manager. The feedback from the customer is probably still the best feedback you can ever get. You also need to listen to your managers and your colleagues. They provide you with valuable guidance and feedback. And you need to learn to disagree. Before taking an action, you need to disagree, discuss, and come to a conclusion so everyone will be on the same page. If you like this kind of videos on engineering, give it a thumbs up so I will know and create more content on that. 
If you love the videos, subscribe so you will know when I create those videos. 3. Be analytical. Your lifelong education has the primary objective of making you think analytically. Now use that education. Always think before you act. Before any task, ask yourself, why are you doing this? Can you not do this? Most of the time, you will find out you don't really need to do what you have in mind. You can reuse existing work or you can take shortcuts. Or you might be just doing unnecessary work. The work that you won't need immediately, tomorrow or maybe never. After all this thinking, if you decide that you have to do it, keep it simple, stupid. Use your creativity to kiss. In addition, never let emotions get in the way of decision making. Keep your relationship with your colleagues at a professional level, at least during working hours. When you have a problem, work the problem. Do not make things worse by guessing. These are the wise words from Apollo 13 flight director Jeannie Kranz. When you need ideas or feedback, consult your colleagues and hold meetings and discussions. Well, they are there for a reason. Now for me, the best way to remain analytical is to think ahead. I always think, what is my next move? What I'm gonna do next? It's a bit like playing chess. I always think the butterfly effect that my actions will do in the future. 4. Organization Manage your time. Using a time tracking software not only helps you, but it helps other people to organize their time with you for meetings and other collaborations. Manage your project schedule. Use a time tracking software like Trello and prioritize your tasks from most important to least important based on the time in hand. Einstein said, if a cluttered desk is a sign of cluttered mind, what is an empty desk sign of? Wait a second, my desk is empty. Oh, uh, never mind. Einstein didn't have a computer to keep himself organized. 5. Engineering excellence. Less is more. Concentrate on delivering the best possible result rather than delivering a ton. Trying to do more than what you can will get you stressed and disorganized. And revise your work over and over again. At the end of the day, good books are not written. They are rewritten. 6. Money. Do not shy away from spending money on what makes you productive. Computers, tablets, drawing equipment, cameras, whatever you need. Money spent on good equipment is money well spent. Hands down, this has got to be the best advice that I've ever gotten. Do not shy away from spending money on what, what makes you productive. Well, first off, you get some morale and efficiency gains. On top of that, that gain keeps compounding on itself. And not to mention the fact that it feels good to use good equipment. 7. Commitment. When decisions are made, commit to them. Either deliver a result or fail trying. Obviously, feedback, discussions and adjusting your course is invaluable. But always remember, indecisiveness and inaction is always worse than trying and failing. 8. Leadership and independence. Leadership does not mean giving people orders. It means taking charge of things and convincing other people to follow you. It is all about the influence. Take responsibility for tasks. Do not expect someone to show up and take charge for you. Make independent decisions and act on them when necessary. Do not expect to be micromanaged. And if you get a chance to be in a recruitment meeting, take it. Being on the hiring side of the job interviews is invaluable experience, especially if you want to move forward with the engineering management path. Companies with flat structure like Facebook will measure you based on your influence on the product and on the people. Your influence on the product and the people will depend on your ability to take charge and convince people to work along with you for your goals and the companies. 9. Confidence. Trust in yourself, trust in your work. Accept the fact that you will make mistakes and break things. But while doing them, you will also make great things. And if nothing, you will learn a lot. Your job as a quantic engineer is always to remain calm and collected. If you radiate confidence, other people will follow you. They will feel more secure around you. It is like this halo that pulls people in. 10. Always remember the engineering motto. The stages beneath our talent, but we shall elevate it. These are the fine words from the wise man Jin. 
we make the world a better place to live in. Do not forget to sub to see more of this goodness. If you want to read this guide or want to contribute to it, you can find it on GitHub's and I'll put the link in the description below. And that is it for this video. See you next time.